welcome back to my table. I'm Cindy with Creations from the Table and you may have noticed that last week I did not upload a video and I was having some technical issues that I just couldn't seem to get resolved in time to do the video so you know that's life. So. <laughs> but um, I'm glad you're joining me here today for this week's video and I'm doing something a little bit different today um, just because I want to address some of these things ahead of time because I know other um, blind YouTubers and such that will get questions about how they do their videos and how um, they're able to look at the camera and things like that. So I actually just thought we'd have a little powwow this week <clears throat> and I'll kind of explain, you know, why I chose to do crafting and things like that as a blind YouTuber. Um, but before all that, I just want to welcome those of you who have been here before and I want to say welcome to those who are new. I'm so glad you stopped by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because every week normally we are doing some sort of DIY and this week is just a little bit different. So if you like the DIY thing, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the family. I'd love to have you help me grow this community because I really want this to be a source of inspiration for people. And um, you know, just hit the like button too to help this video get up to, um, I don't even want to put a number on the likes. I will just say just to get the numbers up there for the likes because um, that's obviously the way that videos grow on YouTube. And so I just ask that you would help me to grow this channel and help um, help it to be a source for other people to be able to come here and um, you know feel like they can become part of a, a little family here on YouTube. I know this is a widely growing community especially during this time of quarantine there's a lot of people that are now on youtube that weren't before um, both as subscribers and content makers so you know we're all gonna try to <laughs> find our our little corner lot here and hopefully be able to um, support one another in our channels and so um, i just want to start by telling you a little bit about my eye disease that is i know probably many of you see other youtubers and maybe know other people that talk about retinal diseases and there's one um, that seems to be the headlining one called retinitis pigmentosa that is not what i have but that is the headlining um disease that has most people, um, ha they have a little bit of familiarity with that particular eye disease. I have something called cone rod dystrophy with another disease called Stargardt's disease. And with those, it's primarily um, affecting my color. The cones and the rods are what determine, you know, how you see color. And a lot of that is affected for me where I have a very difficult time um, telling between You'll see, you've seen, I've done um, videos where I'm using coral colored flowers. I have a hard time telling if it's pink, orange, coral, peach, um, <laughs> you know, any of those. So typically what happens when I use things like that is I will have either my daughter, my husband, my son, whoever happens to be home, help me to separate those into the correct um, piles of, you know, I'm using one particular kind of flower that's in that coral color, they're all sitting together. And then my white ones, I might have a difficult time telling if they're white or off-white or sometimes light pink or anything that's close in that family, I can't tell the difference. So that's what I do is I end up separating them into specific piles that I know, you know, and I just remember which piles which. Plus they're different in shape and, you know, everything like that. So I can, I can tell the difference there. But um, so colors are a definite challenge for me and I try to... Um, Keep things separated into color families like that. Um, I do have an app on my phone called Seeing AI and it has different channels on that where it will tell me there's a color channel where I can hold my phone up the camera portion up to something and it'll tell me pretty close to what the color is um, which works definitely more for like clothing like the shirt I'm wearing is navy blue but I, I would not be able to tell if it's navy blue or black or possibly dark gray um, something like that. So that app will tell me if it's blue or black or gray. Most of the time it's pretty accurate. There are times that it's not so much, but most of the time it is. Um, I don't think that you can see the pants that I'm wearing, um, but they are striped and it would it would have a hard, it would just say striped. Um, it wouldn't necessarily tell um, what color the stripes are, but um, so there are tips and tricks that I have to do for myself, you know, to, to do that, either hanging them on the same hanger all the time, or, you know, I do have enough vision that I can tell that these are navy blue and rust colored 
stripes, not because I can see the colors in them that well, but because when I bought them, um, the person I was with, who I probably my mom or my daughter or something, um, told me what colors they were. So I know that just by memory. Um, when it comes to painting, um, I do have to oftentimes have somebody tell me which color of paint. You know, I, I, if I'm looking for paint to buy, I will just tell the person I'm with, I'm looking for a lighter brown color, a darker brown color, you know, a green. I, I'll give the description as best I can um, for the color, and then they will, you know, find the color for me. Um, this, of course, creates a problem if I want something extremely specific. Um, it, it makes it harder, you know, to try to find something that specific. So I do just kind of, you know, if I say I want a lavender color, it might be, I just bought a, a lavender color paint not too long ago and it's actually called French Lilac. It's not called lavender, but it's in that family. So I just kind of, okay, that'll work, you know, but, um, and I think why I chose, you know, kind of moving into why I chose to do crafting as a blind person, as opposed to doing a channel for blind people like other blind YouTubers, is that I don't want to limit um, what kind of things that people expect from a blind person, if that makes sense. Um, oftentimes it's like we say, okay, they're, they're a blind person, they're going to do content that pertains to blind people, which totally makes sense. I, to I, I follow those, those um, YouTube content makers. Um, they do a fantastic job and that's what's on their heart to do. That's what they feel impressed to do. So that's what they do. And that's great, and we need content makers like that. But I also feel like there needs to be um, content from blind people or just people with disabilities that says, I can do much of the same things that other YouTubers are doing, if that's what's in their heart's desire to do. For me, it is. I, I love to make things. I'm a, I'm a artistic-minded person, you know, with, I'm also a writer, so I have a blog um, that I write like devotionals and um, that style of writing there and it'll be kind of storytelling type parable, um, not parables, um, devotionals. And if you're interested in finding that, you will find it at cindywoods.com, C-Y-N-D-I-W-O-O-D-S.com. If you're interested in finding me there for devotional style of writing. Um, but I'm also very creative minded in the, I, I will either look at or put my hands on an object and think, hmm, this could be made into this, this, or this, you know, and I, I just, I love to, to make things. I love to create things. And hence the reason I chose Creations from the Table, because I already had my blog is called, the actual title of my blog is called Around the Table. And um, I chose that title because it is a place where we often gather together to do crafting, to have conversation, you know, spend time with our families. And since that's what's so focused on between my blog and the YouTube channel around the table and then creations from the table, it's kind of a branch off of my blog. Because I do often sit at the same table and make my, <laughs> make my crafting things. Um, I'm supposed to be getting a YouTube channel, uh, uh, excuse me, a YouTube studio built downstairs. Um, my husband's planning on building me a YouTube studio down there. So once that's done, um, I'll be down there, but even then I have a table that I'm going to have down there that I will be making my creations on. So it's still going to be creations from the table. Um, but no, I just, I want this to be a place where, you know, I'm, I'm doing something that people don't necessarily just expect a blind person to do. You know, oftentimes I can hear the phrase, yes, we would expect, you know, a blind person to do those things. And I'm just somebody who kind of feels like, let's think outside the box and, and do something that isn't necessarily expected for somebody with a disability or blindness or whatever the case may be. So I want to kind of break out of that mold and give other people the courage and confidence to do the same thing. So um, yeah, I want to think, you know, outside the box a little bit and give other people the confidence and or inspiration to do something that maybe is outside of what people expect of them to do. Or maybe they think that it's only what they can do because of a disability and so they, they just don't expect anything more from them. And I feel like I want to just give a little bit more education on that. Um, I want there to be a different viewpoint for people with disabilities that don't expect less. Um, obviously don't expect more than what they're capable of doing either, but 
not to just expect as little as possible. And I'm hoping that this platform will give a little bit of um, a little bit of hype and lift to that. Um, so that's the whole purpose I chose to do this particular kind of channel. And um, I'm hoping that it speaks to to people's hearts. I'm hoping that it's something that is um, again inspirational and a help and a resource for people. And if nothing else, it um, just will serve as some sort of source of uh, distraction, you know, for somebody who um, maybe deals with a lot of depression due to a disability or just in general. Um, I'm just wanting, I don't want people to expect less and demand less from those who have challenges. Um, because that can be, that can feel very deflating, you know, to people. And I, I want for them to feel empowered and to feel like if it's something, there's something on their heart and mind to do, that there may have to be a different way to do it, but to search out that way to do it and don't give up just because um, there might be an extra challenge involved. So, um, and as far as the camera, looking at the camera, you'll notice that most of my videos, are, the camera's not on me, <laughs> it's on the, the craft I'm doing. Uh, but when it is on me, I'm probably not looking into the camera, you know, and if I am, that's kind of like, you know, dumb luck <laughs> as or um, I can't see the, I'm using my phone right now and I, ca I can't see the phone. In fact, I should be wearing my sunglasses because I'm facing a window and light really, really, really hurts my eyes. Um, I love the bright sunshine. I love when it's bright and sunny out, but it is um, really hard on my eyes and it does affect what vision I do have left. I have 10% vision and um, so it does affect that I, sh I should be wearing sunglasses, but I'm not. I'm still trying to build up. I started doing like a crazy sunglass collection where I wanted to start gathering various wild, you know, kind of sunglasses just for fun. And um, I've kind of let that fall by the wayside a little bit, partially because, you know, there's not much open to be able to go and get them. I know that um, you can order online, but again, I have to get something in my hands and kind of feel the shape of it and things like that to... Uh, to get a real feel for it. Um, so I'll, I'll probably start boosting that back up again pretty soon to start getting, um, build up a, a crazy sunglass collection. Cause that's just, that's part of the creativity too. You know, you gotta have fun with things and you have to, you have to be able to see the bright side of things and, um, you know, have some fun with it. So um, disability and uh, of any kind is, is certainly nothing to laugh about and it's no joke, but if we don't find ways to embrace it and to um, find ways to, to make make a stamp with it, then it will consume us. You know, it, it will con it will be all consuming. And um, for me, crafting is a type of therapy. To know that I still um, can do those things, and even if I lost my sight completely with the ten percent I have left. I would hope that I would still at least do some of the crafts that I do. I don't use a tremendous amount of my vision for the crafts, um, for the DIYs. I I do some, but it would be more, it has to be really contrasted, black on white sort of thing um, for me to be able to really, to be able to really tell. Um, for example, when I set up the phone um, to do it on a tripod and to do this video, I have a dark colored blanket on the back of the chair and I had to put that against this color chair for me to be able to see where the camera was aiming, looking through to see if I was lined up properly. Um, sometimes I do have somebody else set up the camera if need be, or the phone rather, <laughs> if need be. Um, usually I set it up myself and I just find ways to have enough contrast that I can use what vision I do have to line that up. Um, the editing, my son does that for me because he's I think he would do that anyway. He's just way more uh, gifted in the area of editing than I am. So um, he may he may do that even if I was fully sighted. So, uh, but he does that for me, and so I'm very grateful to him for doing that. Um, my daughter helps me to line things up properly, or get out the proper color paint that I need, or you know things like that. So my family is very um, helpful when it comes to this too. But I do want there to be things that if somebody doesn't have the availability of someone to help for for them to be able to do it anyway. So I try not to use a whole lot of help um, for that purpose. 
but you know we all sighted or not visibility or not we all need a helping hand now and then so that's okay um, backtracking a little bit I was diagnosed when I was nine years old with this and before that I had perfect vision and I remember being able to see um, in the classroom you know and stuff I remember being able to sit wherever in the classroom and see the board and it was probably about fourth grade I think was the last year I was able to sit in the front row and still see the blackboard um, back in the days when they used a blackboard <laughs> Um, college was very difficult because they didn't have the technology then that they have now um, with voiceover capabilities and things like that and when I was in high school and they were just learning well I'm really gonna date myself here on my age but it was keyboarding was just coming on the scene uh, my senior year of high school and so they didn't they were just figuring out how to teach kids without visual impairments to do keyboarding. They had no idea what to do with me. So they just, I went to mainstream schools. So they just kind of shuffled me through and said that I didn't have to, they just waved the class for me. And um, where I appreciated it at the time, it did not help me later because I only learned the computer about, I guess it would have been about three years ago now, three and a half years ago. Um, I didn't even know how to turn a computer on, didn't know how to type, didn't know how to, uh, you know, do any of that stuff. Uh, emails, none of that stuff. Um, I had Facebook and all that, but my husband did it for me and I just, I, I didn't have the smartphone. I didn't have any of that. So once I learned, once that door opened up for me, that's when I started my blog and um, started doing more online things. And, um, you know, eventually after toying with it for quite some time and having much prayer about it, I started the YouTube channel back in February. Um, you know, I'm just wanting this to go wherever God wants it to go. You know, I, my faith is very important to me and I lean heavily on it. Um, and that's kind of the, the baseline source of everything that I do for writing to crafting to, you know, whatever, whatever it is that I'm doing. So basically I just, you know, wanted to give you guys the rundown on why I do what I do, why I chose to do crafting as opposed to um, blind content. Um, I feel like the disability part is limiting enough, so wherever I can kick down those barriers is what I want to try to do. So um, I hope this was helpful for you. I know there, I haven't gotten a tremendous amount of questions about uh, being blind and doing crafting yet, but I've seen a lot of other YouTubers that get those questions that are blind, and so I kind of wanted to address them before they came up. But, um, and they might still, and that's fine. I'll answer any questions that I can. But I just wanted to give a rundown um, I hope this was helpful. I hope it was something that you enjoyed watching. Um, we will be back to the crafting next week and um, hopefully back to the new normal of life soon, uh, getting out of quarantine and being able to go and um, get together again and be able to sit at each other's tables and uh, enjoy one another's company. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like, thumbs up, all of that good stuff that uh, is required to help the channels grow. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Let me know if there you have any questions about anything that I talked about. Um, any questions about anything that you might have seen up to this point on my channel. So um, I just I appreciate you being here. Um, the viewers and subscribers mean a lot to me, and I, I thank you for all of that support. Um, again, don't forget don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you haven't done that already. Feel free to share this video with anybody you feel like might need a little bit of um, pick-me-up or inspiration uh, because of a disability or anything else. So anyways, I will see you guys next week. I appreciate all of you. And just remember that no matter what kind of content is created here on my YouTube channel, there is only one creator. See you next week.